well, first of all, is to use it. <laughs> um, so sometimes you get the feeling that, that, that solicitors are, or counsel or whoever it is, representatives generally, are thinking, right, I'll go and have a cup of tea now, or whatever it may be. And I, and I don't diss that, obviously. Um, but a, a good mediator will be saying, I'm now going into the other room. I think that may take me half an hour, three quarters of an hour. Try and manage expectations because it's really, uh, it can be a real challenge if people are saying, well, where's, you know, where's the mediator? We haven't seen him for an hour. So I, I have a real rule that I keep people informed about timetables and likely timetables. Um, and then when you're leaving the room as a mediator, it's, it's a great thing usually, and it helps as the process goes on, to ask the parties to think about a particular point or points. Um, if you've got authority to say in one room what, what the other side has said to you in, the, in another room on a topic, put that to them, give them an opportunity to think about that, take advice without you there, um, and, and focus some efforts while you're away in the other room. Um, and I would encourage, you know, from a lawyer's perspective, and this is a lawyer's masterclass, I would absolutely encourage that time to be used as much as you can because it's a good time to reflect, you know, how's the progress going? How is our progress in this room working as compared to the plan we had when we first arrived today? Um, and how are we going to move it on? What's, how's the pace going? Are we feeling it's the right pace? Are we feeling we need to up the pace because it's now getting you know, six, six o'clock in the evening and, and are we really going to be here at two o'clock the following morning? All those sort of important questions um, and make use of that time.